Ranged here, 3v3, Typhon Arena, blue team. Sneery Thug is a tech marine, starts off range combat, puts out some good damage, close to support with structures and repair. This is the Blood Angels elite scheme. Alongside a couple of Imperial God players, first up is Capelan as a Lord Commissar. Very good offense fights in melee combat, can also support a little and begins with a refractor field. Rounding off the blue team, it's Freeze as a Lord General starts off range combat with this retinue of Stormtroopers to help him out. Some really strong defense and support capabilities can also add to his retinue. Red Team, Toy Town is a Force Commander. Very good offense fight in melee combat. Can also tank, disrupt and support with buffs. Alongside Death as an Eldar Farseer support commander that fights in melee. Lots of great buffs through some debuffs and control abilities too. And this is the Harlequin Elite Scheme which has been recolored white. Looking pretty cool there. And rounding off the red team, it's Gigandi as a big angry war boss, a melee commander that walks through objects and very good offense, disruption and support from the front lines. And he's gone double sluggers here with no shooters. I guess he's going straight into looters maybe or storm boys. If he goes straight into storm boys, that'd be crazy. Take down that multi laser turret, forcing off the Lord General. Are they be able to get this node up before the sluggers decap it? Sluggers might have missed their chance. They did miss their chance. Warboss turns away from the encroaching las guns and is going to go after this wreck point, I guess. Might just be shot down by the double sentinels, though. And the double guards are moving in. Trying to harass these sluggers. Sluggers are not going to be able to finish this. Bash on the node. So might as well run away. There we go. Took half the hit points off it, though. Warboss might be able to finish this cap. Oh, look at this. Sentinel has spotted an unnoded power and is getting a full decap. Force Commander here, Space Marine mirror match at the top and he's trying to keep that Tech Marine tied up otherwise the Tech Marine can shoot down scouts so quickly but the scouts are going to be okay here, get away with three models and he forces off Sneery Thug's army yes so the Tactical Marine is going to take this power maybe then push through and grab the VP but look at this some Allied Dire Avengers of theirs have pushed all the way through the map and are decapping that natural wreck point. Very strange to see. It is looters on the way for Gigandi. Sneery Thug with double tactical marines. Warboss now fighting a Lord General. Did he not finish his cap? I guess the Lord General was retaking it and the Warboss came in. Where are those looters? Here they come. Slug is taking back the power there, but the Eldar is alone. And there's a stomp on the Banshee. He's only got one model. It's enough to make them back the hell off, though. Is that going to be double ground pound? It is. That could be really tough for the Banshees to make an impact at the bottom here. And the Lord Commissar gets his power sword up. I think that's more for the disruption than the power melee damage right now. Looters pushing up a little bit here to try and get some shots in. There was a warp, but the sluggers don't want it approach. It's not easy to approach a sentinel with double sluggers. Looters getting some shots in. Maybe a boss pole at the bottom from the war boss would be good. These Dire Avengers just about getting away. 20 hit points, one model. Double tactical marines caught them on retreat in melee, I think. They were trying to grab this VP here. Look at this. Fully populated power node at the top for the red team. Toy Town purchasing three generators, obviously quite confident that he can hold them. And he's got some assault marines. Can jump those double tacticals. Shotgun scouts can try and knock them off. Tech Marine might want to get his bionics up. He's got a teleport relay beacon. Maybe bionics with the axe in tier two for that Tech Marine. Lord Commissar getting shot to pieces and is forced to retreat off. Farsi with no XP whatsoever. Oh, we're kicking off towards the bottom here. The war boss has his angry bits. He's pretty damn angry. Heavy weapon squad doing a good job keeping the orcs at bay. Looters with hard boys on them do get out of there relatively safely. Oh, down to one model. Uh oh, Slug is in trouble. War boss should be able to get into combat with the heavy weapon squad. There we go. But what can he really achieve here? Maybe peel a couple of models off these guys. Is going for it. There was a medipack heal on those guardsmen from the medical sergeant retinue member, but the war boss 
Needs to be careful. Gets away. Banshee's here. Alongside some Dire Avengers hiding behind his shield. Sneery Thug has pushed all the way through. And does have Bionics. With some support from his Imperial Guard ally, he's going to shoot down this power, I guess. Toy Town cannot deal with both players. And was relatively close to dropping a Silk Marine model there. Where is the Eldar? Eldar still bottom, so they're going to lose his power, I think, completely. What is this? Some spotters on the... F oh, Freeze lost his Sentinel at some point. Oh, I don't think they can defend this power. How can they get through this heavy weapon squad? It's completely covering this approach here. No Rangers on the field. There's no Storm Boys. In fact, Death is going Tier 2 on the red team there. The first player to go. They're getting a full decap on this node. A full bash and decap. Tech Marine lives. Or does he? Scouts in retreat path. Can they time this grenade to finish him off? I think they're going for it. No. Just removing. Repositioning themselves to try and finish him off. But they cannot do it. Grenade on the double tacticals though. That is a nice grenade. Gets a single model. And now the tactical marines can force melee combat as they retreat out there. Red team still have that full power farm top. Scouts are going to spot it soon if they haven't already. Shuriki Cannon and Looters. So they have a lot of stuff. Well, two units that can turn into some very powerful AV in Tier 2 quite quickly with the Bright Lance and the Beamy. Our Avengers going forward for a grenade. There it is. And almost got that Lord Gormazar there. So you guys don't want to blob up like that because there are spotters on the enemy team. I'm not sure if they know this. Just asking for a shell in your face there. Capelan going tier 2. Looks like Sneery Thug is going to be the last to go. Maybe grab a whirlwind and put it bottom. Though we could see a manticore from both of the Imperial Guard players which would be pretty painful for red team. Pretty painful indeed. They have lots of requisition. I don't think we've seen any harass whatsoever on their power. Apart from the sluggers having a nibble early on. Spotters getting way too close to stuff. What was that? 453 to 380. It's a double cap for blue team right now. Toy Town retaking his natural. There we go. Still has this full power at the top. Some dead tactical marines here. What does the force commander have? Oh, he has the power sword. I guess that had a part to play. You can jump in with your assault squad and then run your force commander in. Use his battle cry buff and everything's being buffed like crazy and being knocked around. It really needs to try and keep those tactical marines separated. Oh, he's retreating back to the beacon though. Is that actually shorter than his base? From the top? I don't think it is. There's the accidental Kanigam. 453 to 361. More power harass at the bottom. They really have done a good job keeping the pressure up here. Where's the weapon squad? Oh, he's not covering it with them. Happy just to shoot up a couple of things and back away. Death Dread. Are you getting anything? No. Nope. So Death Dread should be able to win this engagement for the red team. They're going to run into a shell though. Look at that. Nicely timed there from Capelan. Yeah, blue team run off the field because this dev dread is so scary for all that clumped up infantry. Some grenades going in as well. Oh, he executed to stop the retreats there. And they're all going back to the beacon anyway. So it's not a huge retreat for them. And now Sentinels, or Sentinel I should say, getting this missile launcher up. Or top dropped in. Absolutely owned a bunch of stuff. And then gets away. She couldn't quite finish off that heavy weapon squad. Is really close to doing so. Toy Town is sewing up the top of the map. Getting both of the VPs. It's going to be a quick triple cap here I think for Red. There we go. And he's keeping hold of that power. Sure is. So all those bashes at the bottom. Not nearly as bad for Red Team. Because they've had that power at the top. The Farsia went down. 
Digandi still with the Angry Bits Warboss charging around. No sign of that boss pole then, I guess. There's a stomp. Hard boys on the sluggers, but it's going to be wasted. There we go. His guards are very, very brave. There is the Basilisk Flare from the Lord Commissar. One of his global abilities. This shuriken is going to go down. Just the weight of range fire. There we go. Some frantic engagements at the bottom here as players start to get their tier 2 stuff on the field. Down goes the war boss. It is a manticore here for Freeze. Sluggers with user choppers going after the sentinel. Has used it stomp? No, stomp is available to use. Can he get away? Looks like it is going to get away. Sort of damage that the knob leader was doing there with his 65 power melee DPS chopper he has. Red team keep the bottom though. Lost the shuriken. What else did you lose? Lost one of his dire avengers, I think, at some point. Death. Uh, get some wraith guard up, I guess. That's what you want right now. And they took this natural power. Wow, red have a hell of a lot of power. Oh, but they got this bashed. But not bothering to repurchase it because they have so much other parts of the map. Drop pod delivering some tactical marines, or did that just? Reinforce them. Oh, delivered them because they're now after the Razorback. So he must have lost some tacticals. Stone Guard veterans on the field for Dwayne Town. Using their crack and roll rounds against the um, Tech Marine here. Doing a hell of a lot of damage. Trying to put his refractor field up. But goes down, I think, in retreat. Was going to try to finish him off, but not, might go down himself. Plasma gun for this Guardsman immediately here. Vengeance rounds from the Stone Guard. Trying to shoot up this Razorback. Doing a pretty good job as it stands. Oh no, dropping models though. To the plasma gun and everything else. Where are you going? Oh, taking back your VP. They're all ring forcing off that drop pod though. And Razorback needs to back the hell off because those stern guard were being scary with their vengeance rounds. Lots of tactical marines shooting at each other at the top. What's going on bottom? 220 to 361. Blue team have retaken the VP. Sluggers on capping duty. No, it's already been capped. The beacon is doing quite a lot there for the blue team. That sentinel has been repaired as well. Manticore, I guess, has already got a shot off. Maybe not. Doesn't have any XP. And it is Wraith Guard for death. An obvious choice. Looters here trying to cover this approach. The Death Thread does not have burners and bits. Not often you see that. But he's managed to get into tier 3 pretty damn quickly, Gagundi. And Toy Tan is also tier 3. Looks like Sneery Thug looking at the minimap has pushed off Toy Town from his VP. And the Razorback has survived so far. Lord Commissar straight in there to tie up that Wraith Guard stop them shooting those very dangerous wraith cannons. Uh oh, sluggers might be the victim of friendly fire here. They went down anyway. Big loss for Gigandi. Now he's got a knob squad though on the way. Down goes a little commissar. Auto cannon coming into play. Warboss is still down. Farsia is still down as well. Right next to each other. And it is double wraith god for death. And that could be absolutely devastating for the blue team to deal with, especially with the Lord Commissar down, who was the obvious choice to go in and tie them up. Oh, stolen the power here. The Tech Marine is what? He's still level 1, this guy. Force Commander is level 2. And has some Vanguard veterans now. There we go. First company Assault Marines with have a squad full of power melee weapons now. A couple of power swords, a lightning claw, and a thunder hammer. Lord Commissar is back on his feet. And has the stubbornness. Good choice for him because a lot of the tying up is down to him. Sluggers live. They did not go down. Huh. I guess not. They have weapon squad level 2. But um, nicely dealt with by the Autark. And are in fact forced to retreat. And now they've all seen the knob squad. And they are getting the hell out of there. Manticore Strike 
Has he spotted it here? Def, I don't think he has. Oh. Strangely placed. I guess he expected um, Def to back away as soon as he saw it. Stomp from the Sentinel. Ard boys on the Nob Squad. Unable to achieve that much and dropping models. That was not worth it, that push. Should have kept them back, I think, after he forced them off. But if the double Wraith Guard can be pushed up here, they could just gib a mound of guardsmen all gathered around that beacon. Vanguard veterans running away. Tech Marine doing a good job. Razorback lives somehow. Yes. No vengeance rounds for the Stone Guard veterans. They could not finish it off there. And there's the global repair from Sneery Thug. He's got a lot of resources here. Floating a hell of a lot. That axe is draining energy. Although it doesn't return it to the Tech Marine, which would have been incredibly powerful combined with his shield. It's going to go down here. Yeah, 220 to 278. It's some scouts coming up to decap Blue Team's natural. So it's going to be a 2 to 1 for Red, I think. Tier 3 now for Sneery Thug. Might see him drop a venerable Dreadnought, which would do a hell of a lot of work against Toy Town's current army, but his current army could change very quickly. Might be saving up for... He just bought something. What did he buy? Did he pull in some Terminator somewhere? No. Nope. Oh, he's getting Terminator armor for his Force Commander. Okay. Bottom is uncapped right now, so it's a double for Red Team. Death Tread is still around without burners and bits. Up to level 2. Give this guy some burners and bits. He deserves it. Oh, Rocket Run. Catching the Orcs. Didn't do too badly off it, though, the Orcs. I don't think the knobs dropped a model. That Sentinel is drawing a hell of a lot of anger from the Orcs. They're going after it quite a lot, and it keeps surviving. Wraith Guard in an awkward little corner here getting shots off. Are they going to follow this stuff back to the beacon now? Here come a bunch more guardsmen. Ready to die. Manticore strike though. Did not spread the shots which was a mistake. And only I think only one of them hit. What am I hearing here? Oh that's the... Um, Psychic Storm from the Rune Armor. 172 to 269. Warboss is back to his feet, finally. Farsi now level 4 with Spirit Stones. Going after this big blob of stuff. And look at the death. Oh no, but lost one of the Wraith Guard squads. That was very unfortunate. Nob Squad, meanwhile, smashing on some power to get their XP going. Trying to decap it as well. Land Raider Edema on the way for Sneery Thug. We have a Lightning Claw Terminator Force Commander. 95 power melee DPS. Holy crap. With a splash. Bane Blade on the way for Capulan. Lehman Russ on the way for Freeze Death. There's some scary stuff hit in the field for Blue Team here. What does Death have? on the way, nothing. Fire Prison would be the obvious choice to stop caps and that kind of thing, though we could just get a bunch of D cannons and set them up around here. Dob Squad using Frenzy, getting into melee combat. Oh, beautifully timed artillery spotter shell there. 129 to 269. Red team holding the bottom though. Just using a knob squad to um, hold up play here and soak damage. Something they are very, very good for, especially with war boss buffs. Oh, there's a psychic storm. Any sign of any nukes? No, no nukes. It's going after the beacon now with the knob squad. User choppers is on them, so they're going to take it down, I think. Definitely, down it goes. Really nice push from the knobs. Look how much damage they are soaking up. This is crazy. Lord Commissar getting involved with the Fist of Brockus. Now going after the Manticore. They've seen the Bane Blade, but can they take the Manticore on? Do they have Frenzy available? I don't think they do. Uh-oh. 
as the Demolisher Cannon and Ob Squad dropping a couple of models, but they achieved so much there. Really good push from Gigandi. He's got an Evi Armor War Boss now, up to 1914 hit points at level 3. Land Raider Redeemer is top. Looks like a bunch of Marines died at some point. Nothing up there to actually cap. Oh, the Tech Marine is up there to cap. 64 to 269. Time running out for blue team. It's a double against them. They're going to get the natural back. But can they get the bottom back here? Death, I think, making a good choice and getting some more Wraith Guard up to replace those that he lost. Now he needs some D cannons or something. Beamy loot up, maybe. Do they even need it? With Guide on that Wraith Guard, that is scary, scary damage. It's the Lord Commissar trying to get the D cap. I think he's going to get it and does get it. Demolisher Cannon, boom. 35 to 269, wow. Psychic Storm almost wiping out some guards on that. Lehman Russ lives just about. Main Blade is going to be a massive pain in the ass. That's for sure. What has Death used his red on? I guess the Autark drop. Don't see any gates. Oh, there's a gate here. And a gate in base. So we might see an Eldritch for that Bane Blade. Eldritch followed up by double Wraith Guard. Buff. Would be pretty scary. There's a bunker in. 35 to 269. Can Blue Team take this VP? Nob Squad going straight after the Bane Blade, getting those momentum buffs going from those hammers. They do take it. Lord General might pay though by going down. Slugger's only level 2, how does that happen? They get away. Oh, I think that was Sluggers that went down because he had double Sluggers, didn't he? I completely forgot about that. Look at the damage from these knobs on that Bane Blade. You cannot out repair it. Those heavy melee headbutts will take it down. Use the choppers in play. 35 to 255. Five. The cannon is on the way for death. Surely this Bane Blade is going down here. Down it goes. Knob Squad up to level 3. They have done a huge amount of work here. But they need to get away. One model left. Hard boy is up on him and he should be able to get out of there. He's got over 300 hit points. Lumen Rust now under assault from some Wraith Guard. What's going on top? Oh, Rocket Run on retreat trying to finish off that knob but could not make it. Wraith Guard run away. Level 6 Lord Commissar. Level 4 War Boss now has the Power Claw. Farseer is down again which is level 7. Look at this. Sneery Thug has dropped a Venerable and has pushed through the top. Toy Town needs to buy a tank or two. What is he waiting for? I don't know. Double cap now for Blue Team. Death Dread. The heroic Death Dread finally goes down. Gigandi now has some flash kits on the field. I would have got another Nob Squad. They're doing a huge amount of work. There's no suppression. No real control abilities on the field whatsoever from the blue team. Nobs having free reign. Slugger's now in amongst the Lord Commissar, but he is not messing around with that Fist of Brockus, and that was some friendly fire, I think. Was that friendly fire from the D cannon? Predator tank on the way for Toy Town. Warboss really pissed off now with the bunker. But he's going to have to run away. So, losses all round. And Capelan has replaced his pain blade. How is this knob squad not level 4 yet? Need to repurchase their knob leader as well. These guys getting their blasters. No heavy or super heavy infantry on the field though for the blue team at the bottom here. So, might have kept their snaz guns. Otherwise, they're just going to do that and knock themselves over. Triple cap for blue team. Toy Town's really falling apart at the top. I'm not sure why he went for this on his Terminator Force Commander. That is a luxury purchase that he did not need. Wasn't fighting a lot of melee. In fact, the Tech Marine is the only melee thing 
that was on the on Sne Sneery Tug's army there. Down goes a the turret. So there's that. Now the force commander goes after him. Getting shot down though by a lot of stuff. And here's the venerable. Doesn't want to fight that thing with lightning claws. Gonna go down. Teleports out and lives. Vanguard veteran is jumping in. Can he keep this tank at bay? Because getting shots on that venerable stone guard veterans with vengeance rounds and missile attacks all getting shots oh look at this though tech marine switches to the melter gun to chase down that tank vanguard veterans run away tech marine runs away venerable dreadnought lives for now and toy town does get his vp back for now i think the venerable is going to go down here that's a global repair can he charge out oh tank getting in the way of the marines there might live here predator tank can just chase it down though yeah it's gonna go down what's going on bottom a bunch of stuff died bunch of stuff leveled up big surprise 35 to 36 blue team are looking pretty formidable now double lehman russes with a repair bunker there's a bane blade and Tons and tons of dead orcs. Look at this though. Webway and suddenly an entire army is at the top. Autark with a fusion gun. War boss again. Very, very angry. Fighting some tactical marines here. Level 4 tactical marines. Knob squad moving in. Is the land raider redeemer going to live? Raid guard right there. Snaz guns, uh, I mean blasters, won't do a lot of damage to the vehicles. 35 to 2. Land Red Redeemer lasts but seconds and goes down. And Red Team have the 2 to 1 still. The Imperial Guard players need to respond, and they're responding by taking a bunch of Lehman Russes to the top. GG says Sneery Thug. He lost a hell of a lot of stuff on that flank. And that was a pretty spectacular flank. Two armies popped up behind him. Not a lot he could do there. Now the Lehman Russ in trouble. Uh oh, Lord General's not decapping. There we go. Being shot to pieces though by a D cannon. Where the hell is that? Oh, it's there. Down goes the Lehman Russ. The other one's going to go down as well. This knob squad has been absolutely epic. Blue team. Well, the two Imperial Guard players have done... Pretty much absolutely nothing to try and control them. Not even a single heavy weapon sword came out once they hit the field, I don't think. 10 to 2. 1 to 1 cap. Oh, look at this. Terminator Force Commander fighting some guardsmen of all things. And the Lord Commissar is level 9. And there's the game. That was a Lehman Rush dropped in, but blue team did actually hold on they cap this the guardsman i think got it wow just couldn't kill them fast enough tech marines level four went down level nine lord commissar had the emperor's wrath at the end level 10 lord general went down trying to cap that the force commander terminator with those lightning claws not sure how much he did with them level eight farsi and a level seven war boss Crazy, crazy finish. I thought the red team had it with that awesome flank, but the blue team responded quickly enough. And Capelan won it by going off this VP and somehow taking it. I guess um, none shall fall allowed them to live for a long time before I came over here and saw what was going on. They should have took down the Lord Commissar, obviously. What was this? Some flash kits trying to cap? No. Oh, it's an autark. Those are dead sluggers. I was confused by the decorator there. Couldn't get there quickly enough, could you, Warthog? She was level 4 with a fusion gun. Wow. And that Lehman Russ was just dropped in just to make sure they could take that VP. There you have it, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. And I'll see you next time.